Kobelco Acera Geospec mounts the Hino diesel engine equipped with the common rail type fuel injection device for the Tire 3 emission regulations. This is different from the conventional engine and there is a major change at the control system. Therefore, we are going to explain about the general description, the diagnosis method when the engine is failed, injector calibration, and pump specification learning. Is the general description of the engine control system. The ECU, that is to say, engine control unit processes signals from each sensor of the engine and process the best fuel injection control and exhaust gas treatment control. The tools used for actual trouble diagnosis operation are three items. A personal computer with Windows 98 or later version, computer which is installed the diagnosis software, interface and connecting cable are used. The signal check harness is a tool that you can check each component failure or the harness disconnection. The main function of the trouble diagnosis operation tool makes possible the trouble diagnosis of failure, confirmation of preventive maintenance operation, each device inspection, and data display and data storage. Trouble diagnosis can display error codes of the present and past. The data display can show the failure information and the data monitor or so on. The function confirmation can process an active test, the difference lean value at changing the pump, and the common rail pressure check or so on. The changing device specification can rewrite the injector fuel injection data or so on. Other functions are able to manage the working history and store the maintenance operation history and even print them out. Now, let's connect the personal computer with ECU indeed. Turn on the computer and start it. Connect the interface to USB port of the computer with the connecting cable and connect the interface with the other side of the connecting cable. Open the cover of the rear of the operator's seat and connect checker harness to the connector of ECU. Then turn on the key switch. Click the Hino icon and select and input the user ID. Input the password, which is set beforehand. When you click the OK, the program will start. After a while, this initial screen is displayed like this. When you use this program at the first time, click the communication of this options tab to set the interface. Select USB or RS-232, whichever you use. Then the setting is completed. When you run the trouble diagnosis program, first click the button DTC and then the load button to acquire the data from ECU. In this time, make sure that the connector is connected, the lightning mark is shown, and the color of engine is orange. Now, let's communicate with ECU. When you click the System Fix button, the window like this is opened. This confirmation is necessary for all operations, such as checking functions and displaying data. When you fill the necessary information in this blank item field, the information can be registered as a working history. After that, if you operate the same work, 
you can refer the information. The input information on the screen can be rewritten. After the input, click the OK button. From now, let's operate actual diagnosis operation. Equipment, DTC, a failure division of the active or inactive, and description of the failure are displayed like this. If you want to browse the detail of the failure contents, select the error code and click the detail button. This example of the error code shows a situation that the signal pulse from the G sensor can be recognized. In this case, it is possible to think the failure of sensor or abnormality of harness as a cause. If you move to the trouble diagnosis flow from this, click this button. Following the displayed flow like this, advance the trouble diagnosis in numeric order. When you click the detail button, the detail of each procedure, such as the measuring method, will be displayed. So please follow this instruction. By the result of the trouble diagnosis, the item number that should be checked next is shown. Repeating this procedure, specify the cause of the trouble. Moreover, when you press the position button on the detail screen, the location of sensors are shown in illustration specifically and press the photo button. You can see the picture, actual mounted components. Thus, investigating the cause of trouble will be possible. Next is about Data Monitor. Data Monitor can display output data such as the common rail pressure sensors used for the ECU control and confirm the operation condition. Click the Data Monitor from pull down menu. Click the Setup button and select the item which you like to monitor from the left column one by one and use this button to move to right. When you press the OK, the data monitor is displayed. Then, when you start the engine and press the start button, the data and graph are indicated. For example, you can read the engine speed change or common rail pressure change. Let us explain about the check function briefly. There are six items in the check function, activation test, EGR check, check turbocharger, supply pump specification learning, accelerator sensor adjust, and common rail fuel pressure manual inspection. In here, let's take a look at the common rail inspection as an example. First, start the engine for the preparation and perform low idling for five or six minutes. Click the common rail fuel pressure manual inspection from the pull down menu of the check function. Then, press the start button and change the variable quantity. Then the target of the common rail pressure will also be changed. Make sure that there are no differences between target common rail pressure and common rail pressure. From here, let's explain about the injector calibration when you change the injector as an actual work. When you change the injector, please follow this procedure. First, click the injector calibration button from the set tab of the menu and display the screen.
check all cylinders first. Click the Read from ECU and acquire the stored data. Afterwards, click the Save to File and save the current data into the computer. The data is saved completely. This operation backs up the data in order to save current data to prevent wrong written data. Next, input the initial data of new injector into the data column of the changing cylinder. Press the Write to ECU button and change the data. When you see this screen, the data is stored. If you do not change the data, it will cause an engine trouble. Moreover, if the wrong data is input, the display will show like this and the data cannot be written. So please input the data properly again. Next, correct and teach zero point of correction value as a proper value. By operating the gauge cluster, display the service adjustment 1 and set on at the items of check injector. Then start the engine and perform no load running for 5 to 10 minutes. Then you can completely finish the injector calibration. Next is about the pump specification learning when the supply pump is changed. First, select the supply pump specification learning from the pull down menu of the check function. As for the study condition, prepare the machine following conditions. The cooling water temperature is 60 degrees Celsius or more. The fuel temperature is 30 degrees Celsius or more. No error display. Turn off the auto warm-up. Turn off the air conditioner. When warming up is over, advance the operation following the inspection and procedure of the instruction field. Then click Next. Stop the engine. Turn the starter key on. Click Next. Then start the engine. After 5 seconds, stop the engine and turn the starter key ACC. After 10 seconds, with pressing the buzzer stop switch, turn the starter key on. Hold the buzzer stop switch down. Press the select switch three times. Select the service adjustment one. Change to screen of the check injector. Turn on the check injector. Click the next of the computer. Then start the engine. The flag on the computer screen will change. Pre-learning, temporary learning, and on learning. Confirm the flag is complete and click the next. Then stop the engine. Turn the starter key off and hold it for 10 seconds or more. It is stored to the ECU while you are holding the starter key.
the specification learning of supply pump is complete. This is the end of the explanation of the engine trouble diagnosis, injector calibration, and supply pump specification learning using the specialized personal computer tool. We believe you are very active servicemen in the front line of service. We would like you to use this video as a tool actively for your practical operation and technological upgrade from tomorrow.